All right, so here we are today, metal shop working on that lower radiator hose. You can see I've got the coupling on here. That's the style, that accordion style stainless. It's got kind of like a plastic coating on it. Anyway, touch anything metal with it, the coating falls right off. Anyhow, it's neither here nor there. So I have a piece fit up. Got that piece put on there. That was a huge fight. Standard sized water pump. <laughs> Standard sized water pump there, folks. And that thing went on. I used some 409 as a little bit of lube, and it was a huge fight to get that on. This is the kind of day I'm having. My uh, dead blow hammer gave up the ghost. <laughs> There's all the, the shot <laughs> that used to be in there. I've had that thing for years. I bought this years ago to straighten out uh, bent wheel. Anyway, so yeah, that's the type of day we're having. Let's go on over here out into the sunlight, show you the hose I've got made up. And I read up on these a little bit. And part of the problem is, you know, due to their accordion style nature, um, they'll that's where they're prone to leak. So some good, you know, tech advice I read online is fill the first three, three, four ribs with silicone, which I did. Brand new tube of Permatex silicone and the gloves and put it on there and um, show you any issues that I had with that. And I'll tell you, the stinking Permatex, because it's one time use, because Squidging it out the end of the tube was next to impossible. Keep cutting it bigger, keep cutting it bigger, finally start to get it to come out. You know, get it all over the hands, and the hands are on this. And then the thing breaks at the bottom and starts leaking out the bottom. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This one this is one time use then apparently. So I'm gonna have to let uh, this garbage at least it wants to dry for 24 hours. I'll check it in a while, see if it's dry to the touch before I can uh, put uh, that thing together. Cool. So, I'm installing uh, some longer studs for the wheel spacers there. And you think that it would be simple, but look what happened to the first one. Yeah. Now, I screwed up, put it on with an impact, and I thought it was still drawing. It wasn't still drawing in um, through the knurl. It was just spinning. I ended up having to cut that off with a cutoff wheel. So now I'm short a stud. I have one, it's a little bit longer. I guess I'm gonna put it on the passenger side. Maybe uh, Summit Racing will take pity on me <laughs> and send me just one stud. But this is really pretty simple. Um, I'm just gonna tap these out. Like I said, I found these um, Cal Customs, kind of an oddball 
um, the screwdriver in here to keep it from spinning. Kind of an oddball, you know, you need the half inch um, 20 thread, but you need the, uh, the knurl needs to be, it's like, these are, I think are five, six, five. Um, some it sent me, some of these are supposed to be, but they're much too small. So they sent me these, free shipping, that was pretty nice. So what I am doing now is, stand by, I pull it off with my teeth. What I'm doing now is I'm doing it by hand with a little bit of WD-40 on the threads. Um, put some washers on here. I have an open-ended stud. This is gonna be about impossible to do with, there we go, got it. Um, from the old Thunderbird project right there, I have those open-ended. And I'm just gonna put a little WD on and I'm gonna pull in the knurl by hand. I'm probably gonna have to cut these bullets off. Um, they'll probably make it a little bit too long. It, this is, that's really for racing, you know, for quickly getting your, uh, you know, quickly getting your, you know, your wheel studs on, or sorry, your uh, lug nuts on, on and off real quick. But uh, these are going on pretty nice. So I'll put five on here, four on the other side. I have one that's longer than these puny things from stock. It's got about a half inch more thread, the other one. So anyway, on we go. All right, so real quick, managed to get five in. But uh, you can tell I'm out of breath. I just got done uh, fighting with these things. It uh, wasn't me. It's the studs. Because I stripped out another one and I broke one. And that was turning them by hand with a breaker bar, not using the impact. So, yeah, not happy to say the least. Um, but <laughs> kind of stuck. Yeah, I want longer studs. I need something that fits. These work. I'm just going to have to make sure to keep keep them lubed up. WD-40 seemed to really be the key right there, having some lubricant because I think two out of the three that 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 broke uh, did not have lubricant, or you know I had some left in the in the nut, but not really enough. So yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm losing daylight here big time, but I mean look at this one. I mean, that's just nuts. Another one, thread's gone off it, and this one just broke, you know, right there. This thing is still hot. Good Lord. Oh, it never ends. Never ends. Oh, so I did get, I don't know if you'll even be able to see this, try and put some light on the subject. Um, I did get this here. Great. It does... I'm gonna to have to put some cushion clamps here to, to pull this hose down to hold it tight against the cross member. Otherwise, right now, steering works fine, but see how this will move a little bit and it could get in the way of the steering and we're not gonna, we're just, we're not gonna have that. I'm gonna buy a couple of big inch and a half cushion clamps, screw that thing down tight against the cross member so that it's absolutely no issue. I mean, that's safety first there. I can't have a, you can't have a hitch in your steering. So anyway, that's it for today. I've really, I've just, I've just had enough. You know, really had enough. Uh, all right, so hopefully uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Cool. All right, so we did end up having to cut those little nubs, little speed, speed loader, whatever you call that thing off of each of these, the uh, the lugs, sorry, excuse me, I reach. The lugs just wouldn't, with that little nub on, they would go down all the way and they wouldn't tighten the wheel. I, I, I knew that, I predicted that, and that's fine. They all go on good. I've put some anti-seize on there because of the problems I had yesterday. Um, so you see I got the brake rotor removed here. Um, a problem I ran into, which I didn't anticipate, was I thought that the uh, the center cap was fine, but what's happening is it's hitting the hub, this giant hub here, just a little bit, like 
I mean, a sixteenth of an inch, three thirty seconds of an inch, it's hitting, and it's forcing this out just a little bit, and what happened is it kind of, my snap ring here got a little bit misshapen when I tightened up the wheel on it, it kind of, this thing got caught in limbo, and I can't have that because what's going to happen is this is going to break. Whoa, sorry, I'm squatting. I almost fell over funny. This is going to break. This is going to fall off going down the road, you know, take my spinner with it. That's no, no bueno. So, um, oh, by the way, the Cal Custom Lug Nuts Summit Racing is sending me one more set free of charge. I had three that got demolished. I showed you those. Um, so they are going to send me... Um, three of those, or sorry, a whole new set of five free of charge. It was not me. Um, I used it, like I said, one of them stripped out with the impact, but the other two I did by hand with the breaker bar so I could feel it. And I broke one and stripped another one. I'm not sure if I told you that, sorry. I apologize if I'm repeating myself. Um, so I got this pulled off and, and I found out that these bolts were, that were holding the caliper on were barely, barely snug. I mean, it took no effort at all to back this out, so that's why. And the guy did tell me that I got it from Pete. Nice, super nice guy. I, it seems like maybe some of my, my videos have been just a tad critical of him, but not necessarily him. Maybe the previous owner. There was some some kind of questionable, sketchy stuff done, but whatever. But he told me to go around and nut and bolt the car. He said you got to go around and nut and bolt it and check it, check them all for tightness. I have not done that. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm take this to a friend of mine who's got a machine shop. I'm going to have him put these on a lathe and machine these down just a little bit probably i'll have them probably take off of you know a good three sixteenths of an inch or so that should take care of my problem it's funny i had to do this on an old fox body mustang that uh had bare brakes but with the they modified the fox spindle so you had this old style bearing assembly which takes this giant housing here not like the modern you know sn95 on up which is a lot smaller it's, it's, it's actually, this, this whole thing is just gone. It just is nice and flush. But anyway, so I'm going to have these machined. I'm going to take these both off, have them machined. I think that is going to be it for the weekend. I did buy some. I'm going to paint those wheels, the centers. Um, I decided I could have them powder coated, and I still could. If the paint doesn't come out good, I could have them professionally painted, professionally powder coated. I'm trying to get as much of the work done as I can myself. So I'm gonna scuff those up real good. I bought some two-part epoxy primer because everything I read says you're never gonna get paint to stick on top of chrome without two-part, you know, with a catalyst epoxy primer. So I'm gonna do that. Um, got some, I'll go over the paint that I got for that because I got some, some special good paint for that. But I think that is going to round out the video for the weekend. Um, I, like I said, I hope you guys appreciate this. Um, it's very, very slow going, you know, tiny little projects. Just did, I'm plodding along, plodding along. Oh, I did buy, now these fans, I talked about these fans. These fans are just for show. They don't really do any cooling, even if they were right on top of the radiator and they're close The mine are, you know, inch, inch and a quarter away. Even if they're right on top of the radiator, they're going to do a minimal amount of cooling without a shroud. So I bought a proper spall fan shroud and a controller all in one nice package that fits this perfectly i measured 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 it should fit in here in my tight space there um so that's a, an upcoming project that i've got there i have you can't really see it because it's underneath the car you can see there it says lube blocker that is a differential cover i bought a nice cast aluminum differential cover with the girdle um nuts on it to you know to support your, your ring gear there much nicer than to me that i don't know if that's chrome or whatever that that stamped steel shiny piece there just looks like cheap garbage in my opinion so anyway as always my friends like i said i do appreciate your support i still try and respond to every comment i'm trying to crank out one automotive content related video a week so please hit the subscribe please hit the like share my videos with your friends all right, my friends, take care. Thanks, bye-bye. Cobra.